Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, to use the course structure of this class and the guided notebook. So the first thing is, is that you here you have the landing page, you have the getting started in course information. So this is all the information that you can find with questions about the course, the instructor information, and so forth. What I'm going to focus on is the first week. Okay, so here on the first week, every week you're going to have an outline. So you want to make sure you click on that to see what is due. And you're going to see what sections and what are the title of sections. Now, when you click on that, okay, this outline is going to tell you what all needs to be downloaded and, and clicked on. So here it's saying for this week, make sure to complete both of the following assignments, the orientation assignment and the introduce yourself assignment. Then it says download and print the guided notebook, chapter one, and this should say chapter two because that's chapter two. And then I'm going to come back to this. Then it says complete the following assignments, homework 1.1 to 2.3. And then it says here that the following are instructions for quiz one. So here are your instructions and then you're given what the password is for that particular quiz. So each outline is going to contain the password here. Okay, and it tells you all the information for the quiz. Then it also talks about your written assignment to make sure to show all work and submit online via Canvas. And therefore, it says down here to make sure that you follow these instructions. So each week outline is going to have this. Now, I want to point out here that it says download and print the guided notebook for chapter one. So if I open this up, now you can open it up just by clicking on it, or you can go ahead and select download. Okay, so as we're waiting for this to upload here for our document, I'm going to go ahead and go to the modules and I want to point out where right below here you see where it says read and watch you want to make sure you read and watch down below here is the orientation assignment and introduce yourself assignment so you want to make sure you complete those before Wednesday of this week which is April 5th okay now down here it says section 1.1 statistical and critical thinking lecture videos I'm going to go ahead and open that up now when I open that up, you're going to see the title of the video. It says 1.1 Statistical and Critical Thinking Lecture Video. Okay, and then if I go down a little further, it's going to say Percentages Lecture Video. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here, and you're going to see here now that the Guided Notes section is now has been shown. Now you can either, you want to download this so you have it to take notes. So imagine if you were sitting in class, if you were sitting in class, what you would be doing here is watching the lecture. Here's the video. And then over here, I've created these notes that you can take, which are guided notes. So we have section 1.1, 1 1.2, and 1.3. So I'm going to scroll down here, and you're going to see section 1.1, statistical and critical thinking. You can see there's the key concepts, and then there's things that are blank here. This is what I mean by the guided notes. You're going to go ahead and fill in all the information that's left blank. And therefore, what this is going to do is give you a good set of notes to use as you move throughout the course. I highly recommend that you do this because if you don't do this at all, it's going to be hard to understand the homework. So you want to make sure you follow the lecture videos and then use the guided notebook. So let me go ahead and press play for the video. When I press play for the video, okay, you're going to see here is the video. As I talk through the lecture, you're going to see here we have Introduction to Statistics. Here's statistical thinking and critical thinking. Here's the key concept. And you can see there are the bold letters and then there's the definition. So if you come back here, you're going to see there is the information that you need to fill in and then those are the definitions. So it's a really great way to make sure that you're following the, uh, the notes and you have something to kind of hold on to for each particular week. So I highly recommend that you do this. Yes, the very first chapter has got a lot of definitions, but then as we start with chapter two, you start getting into a lot more statistical work with, you know, formulas and things like that. So therefore, that's going to give you the guided notebook. Now we know how to fill in that. So now let's go back to modules here. Now, for example, once you've completed, you know, section 1.1 guided notes, then you want to move on to the homework. So let's go ahead and click on the homework. So when you click on it, you're going to see the date there, and you're going to see there it says uh, the following, how many points. So when you click on the homework, okay, now what's going to happen is, is you're going to end up seeing this. Now before you see this, you have to make sure that you watch the video first and then enroll into My Lab and Mastering. 
you won't see this until you enroll through this link up here. So please make sure you do that first and foremost. And then over here, then you have your questions. So as you're working through your questions, you can see there's question number one. So if I go to question number one, okay, I'm going to start with question number one. You see at the top where it says question one, IR 2.7. Okay, if I keep going down here, I got another question here, down to question eight. Let me keep going here. And then when I go to question 13, you can see it says 1.1 RA-3. Now, if I want to look at my videos I created, so if I come back into modules, right? And so underneath each homework assignment, you're going to see homework 1.1 videos. These are videos that I created for each particular question. So therefore, you want to use this because let's say that, you know, tutors aren't available and it's after hours and, you know, myself, the instructor is not available. Then you have another place to be able to come in here and have, you know, videos that you can rewind, pause, and keep looking at how to be able to solve the problem. So over here, if you see here, it's got 1.1 RA-1. Okay, let's go back to the question that we were looking at, 1.1 RA-3. So if I scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see here it says 1.1 RA-3, and then here is the question. So you can see here, you're going to have videos of how to do all these questions. So I show how to do each particular question. So you want to make sure you use this. Now you're going to get different numbers. You're not going to get the same exact numbers, but you're going to have explanation on how to do that. So then as you work through each particular assignment, and I'm going to come back here, I'm going to go back to modules. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing for each particular section. You watch the section lecture videos for 1.2, okay, then do the homework and then use the videos to help you with your homework. Okay. And so then you would continue the same thing with section 1.3, you know, 2.1, 2.2, and then 2.3. And then when you get down to here, you're going to see that you have your written assignment for week one and you can see the due date for that, which is Sunday, April 9th. You don't want to wait until that time to do that. But again, you want your written assignment, you're going to go ahead and submit that. Please watch the video on how to submit that. And then you have your quiz, and your quiz is due on April 10th, which is on Monday. And so therefore, that concludes the course structure video.